Marcus Rashford is enjoying the most productive season in his career under Eric Ten Hag. But how much of this turnaround in the 25-year-old's fortunes is down to his own improvement and how much is down to his manager? Despite being on course for a record goal-scoring season, Rashford is actually doing less in possession than he usually does. Take touches, for example. Since the 2017-18 season, Rashford has averaged around 44.4 touches per 90 minutes in the Premier League. This season, he's down at an all-time low of 37.6. And actually, across the board, his numbers are down. He's less likely than average to take on players this season. He's less likely to carry the ball, less likely to receive the ball through a pass from his teammates. He's also much less likely to generate shot-creating actions for his teammates this season, according to FB Ref. But his production has still risen. His 0.65 goals per 90 minutes in the Premier League is the highest it's ever been. And even though he's overperforming his expected goal numbers, he's still putting up his second highest XG per 90 in a season after the 0.65 XG per 90 that he put up in 2019-20. So less is more for Marcus Rashford in 2023. And this suggests that his recent redemptive arc isn't just about fitness and form, but tactical reasons too. That Rashford is doing less in possession, but has become a greater goal-scoring threat indicates that Eric Ten Hag is using him differently. Where previously Rashford had been used as a more traditional wide player, progressing the ball down the field and taking on defenders, Ten Hag is now using him as more of an off-ball threat, trying to work situations where Rashford can run in behind. To achieve this, the Dutchman needs to fashion transitional moments in which the opposition are usually advanced down the field, leaving space in behind, and are also in their in-possession shape, which generally means that there are more spaces to exploit in the attack. Under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Manchester United would usually create these moments by sitting deep, absorbing opposition pressure, winning the ball back and then counter-attacking at speed. However, under Eric Ten Hag, there's been more of an attempt to generate artificial transitions. Now, these are moments where the conditions of a transition are generated intentionally through possession of the ball. Rather than sitting deep, waiting for the opposition to lose the ball, a team looking to create artificial transitions can employ certain ideas in possession to open their opponents out and exploit the space that appears. Generally, this is done by baiting in on opposition press and then evading it through ball carrying or smart passing. By improving Manchester United's ability to produce these artificial transitions, Ten Hag has been able to increase Rashford's off-ball threat, getting him into those goal-scoring situations where he appears to be so dangerous. But it's not just the in-possession side of the game that's increased Rashford's threat for Manchester United. Ten Hag has also revolutionised their out-of-possession play in such a way that increases Rashford's productive upside. Another way of generating transitional moments is through pressing higher up the field. By disrupting the opponent's build-up, teams can win the ball higher up the field and with their opponents generally in more of an open structure because they've just been in a possession phase. During Ten Hag's tenure, Manchester United have improved in their ability to generate higher turnovers against their opponents. Since 2017-18, they won back possession in the final third four times per game on average. This season, they're enjoying their most productive season winning back possession in the opponent's third picking up the ball 5.4 times every 90 minutes so far this season. So by being able to generate these turnovers higher up the field, the team are able to produce more of these transitional moments that Marcus Rashford likes to exploit. With the ball closer to the opposition goal and the opponent's defensive structure more open, Rashford's threat really comes to the fore. Of course, there's no doubt that his renaissance has been the result of a number of different factors coming together for him at the same time. But still, it's hard to argue against the fact that Ten Hag has identified the strengths in his game and looked to find ways to play to these strengths. And the results are clear to see. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.